So the first thing you need to do is enable the multi-lib repository. So what you want to do is go to the terminal. You want to sudo and then your text editor of choice. So in this case, I will be using nano slash etsy slash pacman dot conf. Scroll down until you see multi-lib right here in the brackets and where it says include equals et slash etsy slash pacman dot d slash mirror list. You want to uncomment these. If there's a hashtag, you got to delete the hashtags right here. All right, save and exit. After that, sudo pacman dash syy to update the mirrors. Next thing you want to do, go to archlinux.org, go to the, the arch user repository. Packet search, you want to search up grape juice. Make sure it's the most popular one. And it's by the maintainer is Brinker VII. Grape juice dash git. You want to right click, download snapshot, copy link. You can close your main terminal. So in your folder, you want to choose a folder where, where you want to download grape juice. So right click in your folder and open terminal. First thing you need to install are your drivers. So if you don't have your drivers installed, I will leave commands in, in the description. If you have an Intel GPU or anything like that, that should have been installed in your Arch install when you were, when you were installing Arch Linux. So I'll leave that in the description. Anyways, these are the packages you will need if you do have your drivers, drivers installed. Base devl wget p7 zip wine and wine tricks this is enter selection press just press enter for the default for me it says reinstalling for all of these I already have these so in this case um, if you don't have them you go ahead and install them so for me I press no all right now since you have those packages installed you want to wget and then the link that you copied from the snapshot. We did that by right clicking download snapshot and copy a link. And then press enter. Cool. You want to extract the file. So ls, here's the file. Copy it and then run the command tar dash xvf and then paste and press enter. LS again. Copy grape juice dash git as a file. We want to CD into it. So you want to CD that file that we just copied. Now, right now is a good time to read the package build. So if the package build is pretty malicious or it looks good to you. If it looks good, then go ahead and make the package. Make pkg dash si. You see, it looks pretty cool. See, this is why you. This is why you should get Linux. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. So now, for me, it says grape juice is reinstalling. I already have grape juice. If you do not have it, go ahead and install it. So for me, in my case, I press no. All right, so you should be good to go. So now what you want to do is install wine tkg, which is a patched version of wine. What you want to do is first you want to run grape juice. So now that you installed it, inst uh, run it at least once. All right, then you can just close it out, whatever. All right, so right here in upstream URL, go to the URL that's right here. All right, cool. Now we're on the main page. So now it says installing grape juice. So the installation guide can be found on the documentation. So let's go to the documentation. Scroll a little bit down. It says installing grape juice with a bunch of emojis. Okay, guides. So look for your operating system. So in this case, if you're using Arch Linux, then or whatever your operating system is, install from package. All right, so installing grape juice, we just did that manually. So we can just skip that. 
If you're using pipe wire, then go ahead and follow these instructions. If you already did that, then go ahead and follow this next guide to install the patch version of Wine. You can install a pre-built version of Wine, or you can compile it yourself. Assuming you don't want to compile it on your own, go ahead and follow what I'm about to do, which is install the pre-built version. Basically, what you want to do is CD into the TMP file, which looks like it says. Don't forget to read the script before you run the script because the third command is going to run the script. So let's go ahead and read it. All right, so if it looks good, then go ahead and install it. Run this command right here, which is going to download the script. And then to run the script, you want to run this third command right here and you just paste it like that and then you just press enter all right cool so if once that's done go ahead and exit out um oh yeah don't forget to install roblox uh, if you don't have player or studio you have to install it and if it doesn't show up still then you should pro probably play roblox at least once to get it showed on here all right since you have roblox installed all right played it at least once then close it out open up grape juice you should have player at least if you don't have roblox studio then you want to install it you can either do it from the website or you can literally just do it from here grape juice so it says open roblox studio this is where you install it go ahead and install it if you for some reason don't want to go to the website to just open a roblox studio you can just go sign into studio pretty cool huh all right so anyways to configure your graphic settings so you have a bunch of choices of which graphics settings you want. Vulkan is what we downloaded, right? And there's DX11. So we should select, I mean, you want to put DX11. That's if you want to use third-party application integrations. So to use DXVK, you have to have DX11. you have to be using DX11. And if for some reason, if you're having trouble playing Roblox, uh, they have a really good troubleshooting guide. Well, it's a little outdated, but. So here's the troubleshooting page. You can see the fact here. There's one issue that's not on here. Well, it's not really an issue, but if for some reason, let's say you play Roblox, right? And the Roblox window, the player turns, like the whole window turns white. That just means it's just a Roblox bug. It's not really your part. If you still see that white screen, I wouldn't freak too much about it, but I would just wait until like probably like a few hours or so and then play Roblox again. That's a, that happened to me once already. It's very rare that it ever happens. So any other issues, you should go to the troubleshooting page. Oh yeah, by the way, guys. I'll have all the commands and instructions in the description so you do not have to worry about it. All right, cool. <clears throat> all right, cool. Let's see what I got here. Load. What kind of boat is that? Oh man, I, <laughs> I thought you can turn on the turbos. <laughs> new 
Well, uh-oh. No. My hand. <laughs> My foot. <laughs> it's all gone. Oh no, am I gonna make it? Oh, I'm gonna die. My other hand's gone. My other foot. Oh no. No, my hair. Oh. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm dead. Alright guys, <laughs> rate the video if you enjoyed it, um, let me know what I can improve on, uh, hopefully I'll be making this guide better in the future, <laughs> I'm always trying to improve, so yeah, um, thank you for watching, see you in the next one.